The two significant storylines in, in this movie are that uh, Movie World comes to Downton Abbey. Uh, a film is, uh, is going to be uh, filmed at the castle. And uh, Robert, of course, can't bear the idea of this. So fortuitously, the other thread of the story is that uh, Mother, Violet, has inherited a villa in the south of France. Uh, in slightly mysterious circumstances, and so half the family go off there to investigate and to, uh, and to find out more about this inheritance. Working with Elizabeth is, well, frankly, she's my second wife because uh, we've been married on screen uh, on and off over the last 11 years, and uh, it's the third time we've actually been married in a show, so we have a certain shorthand, let's put it that way, and uh, uh, it's just a delight. It's like... I wouldn't say like putting on a favourite pair of slippers because that would be rude to Elizabeth, but she'll know what I mean. Working with the same team of people over the last uh, decade, uh, well, it speaks for itself, the fact that we have managed to sustain it for that long, the fact that we, uh, we aren't throwing chairs at each other. Um, if we were, we wouldn't have got together to make the movie, and uh, I think it's a great testament to... To Julian Fellows and Gareth Neem, our, our producers, and, and, and Liz Truebridge, the fact that they've managed to keep this ship um, afloat uh, and that all, the, all hands on deck um, when it came to it was, was really important because if, if, I think if, uh, if half the cast had said, no, I'm not interested anymore, it wouldn't have happened. And uh, so to have got everyone back together for the second time, I think says, says it all, that we all get on well, that we know the show is beloved and, uh, and, there, and Julian's still got stories to tell. So it's been wonderful to get back together. Well, Maggie Smith is a, is a phenomenon, let's face it. Uh, and uh, I think I was, I was intimidated on the very first day of filming with her back in 2010. Uh, and I was intimidated on the last day of filming with her in, in 2021. 20, so, uh, you know, she's, she's been consistent, consistently intimidating and scary and uh, impressively brilliant throughout. She just, you just have to raise your game whenever you're on set with her because she takes no prisoners. And uh, Julian unashamedly gives her the best lines and she delivers them with, uh, with laser, uh, laser sharp precision and um, makes the rest of us look like amateurs. So uh, what's not to like? We have Natalie Bay um, playing Madame de Montmirail and her son is played by Jonathan Zakai. Um, and they were, it was wonderful to welcome them into the cast. And uh, of course we were filming on their home turf so they felt very relaxed and we felt, uh, uh, we felt like uh, invaders in their country. Um, but they were incredibly generous to us and, and we, uh, we tried to make them feel welcome at, at High Clear as well. Um, and then in the, in the other storyline with the, with, the, with the movie that comes to be made at Downton, we have Dominic West and Hugh Dancy and uh, Laura Haddock, and uh, they bring wonderful uh, variety and spice to, to that section of the story. Well, as you might expect, Robert's uh, reaction to the idea of, 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 of a movie being made at Downton, is, he finds the whole notion just despicable. Um, he, he's very suspicious of the moving picture and, uh, and uh, wants to vacate as quickly as possible. <laughs> well, of course, Downton has travelled away from home in the past, uh, particularly to, to Annick in Northumberland and, uh, and to Scotland as well. But was the, this was the first time we'd been, uh, been on the abroad. And, uh, <clears throat> of course, that was delicious and, and, and fun. And to go to the Riviera, uh, particularly in that era, um, when the French Riviera was sort of opening up as a playground for the rich and famous, uh, and in the summertime too. I mean, it was already a, a haven in the winter f um, for the wealthy of France, but to, to actually uh, go there in the summer was sort of anathema until the movie stars, um, people like Scott Fitzgerald, you know, used to you know, vacation there and made it popular. Uh, and so, so that's a sort of, um, uh, that gives a real texture to, to, to the story. And I think the balance between, between being at the castle and being in France is, is beautifully played out. Um, but gosh, it's, it was exotic, uh, to say the least. Even, even to go there in 2021 was pretty good fun. The linchpin of the story of going to France, really, is because uh, a villa has been left to, to Violet in, uh, in, in, uh, in the Marquis de Montmirail Senior's will. And it's a bit of a mystery as to why. And so we go there to, A, meet the, uh, uh, meet the current owners who have been disinherited, in effect, and, um, and to find out more. 
he d did actually get round to directing it eventually, and did a fantastic job. So no, really, he, you know, it all, the spirit of any movie comes from the director, and if you've got a director who is enthusiastic and kind and uh, and wants everyone to do give of their best, then that trickles down to every department, and um, it, uh, it it certainly made for a very good atmosphere. I think if I knew what the enduring appeal of Downton Abbey was, then I would have bottled it and uh, you know retired years ago. But um, uh, I don't know quite. Uh, I think it comes down to a combination of so many factors. But I think, I think Julian. I've always said this that Julian writes from a default position that people try to be good, uh, even if they do bad things. And so I think there is a benevolence underneath the show. Uh, the, the undercurrent of the show is about. Um, uh, a community uh, trying to do its best, uh, albeit a slightly strange community in this cloistered world, characters that you can identify with, uh, and, and it's landed well in each country around the world that it's played in. So I think there's a universality about the characters and the, and the scrapes they get into. Uh, and if you're bored of one character, another one will be along in 20 seconds. <laughs>